across the Pacific Ocean to Central America, to one of the shark fishing capitals of the world, Costa Rica. It's bloody scary when you think of that whole dominated Asian market fishing as far as here to supply this huge network industry of shark fin. I suppose the, the big question for me is, can I actually get on one of these fucking boats and go shark fishing to see what exactly they're up to and how big uh, a scale it is? For the last 20 years, Taiwanese fishing fleets have plundered the shark-rich waters here. And now this small country is one of the biggest exporters of fins in the world. Hello, Randall. Good morning, Gordon. How are you doing? Well, thank you. How are you? All right. Well, come on into my office. Thank you. Marine biologist Randall LaRouze has spent years taking on the might of the shark fishing industry. This is the place where hey, it all gets organized. Yeah. What's going to happen now in the next five years with these waters to the extent of what they're fishing? Well, at least here in Costa Rica, what we've been doing is we've been putting observers on the boats. You know, we record what we call relative abundance. How many sharks do you catch per number of, sh of hooks that you put in the water? And at least here in the EEZ of Costa Rica, from 1991 to the year 2000, we have recorded a reduction of the population of sharks of 60% in only nine years. It turns out that there are about 90 boats from Taiwan using Costa Rica as a base. They're coming all the way from here. Yeah. And they cross the whole Pacific. Yeah. And right now they're operating all the way here, basically from the Clipperton Islands, which are like right around here, yeah. all the way down to the northern coast of Chile. And this is pretty much already overfished. Shit, that's scary. Huh? It, it's, it's one of the most destructive fisheries that we're seeing now during this um, current century. Wow. And added to this destruction is the way many fishermen get their fins. Randall wants me to see footage taken by one of his team on a Costa Rican boat showing the grim reality of finning. Jesus Christ. I watch in horror as a scalloped hammerhead, one of the most endangered shark species, has its fin sliced off while still alive. It's a slow, long and drawn out process. See the animal still alive and wiggling. The pure cruelty of this. Just imagine taking a lion in the savannas of Africa and cutting its arms off and then just throwing them out on the savanna to bleed and to die. That would be extremely cruel. The meat of the hammerhead shark in Costa Rica, once they're this size, has no value absolutely. If they bring it back to the port, no one will buy it. So that's the, that's the incentive to, to fin. It's without doubt the worst act of animal cruelty I've ever seen. <laughs> 